guys my name is tatiana welcome to my channel naturally a1 i am a business owner my company's name is naturally a1 and i provide consultant like services and also i sell digital products and also physical products as well and um i created this channel just so that I could share information with you guys because I do a lot of research and I read a lot. So I feel like I have a lot of resources to share it with other people. So that was the purpose of me creating this channel was just to share information from one entrepreneur to the next. Now, I basically talk mostly about business finance and entrepreneurship on this channel. So anything to help us um, increase our finances or to get us to a better spot than where we currently are right now. Um, that's just the whole purpose of this channel, you guys. So all year I've been giving you guys grants that you guys can apply for. Now this video, I'm going to give you guys some more grants that you can apply for. It's almost the middle of August and a lot of these grants that I'm giving today, the deadline will be at the end of August. So I'm gonna need you guys to hop on these grants if you're eligible to apply for it. You guys know that I'll give you guys all of the links in the description below. And um, for about two months now, I've been helping you guys apply for grants. Like if you're not tech savvy or if you don't have enough time, things of that nature, I've been helping you guys apply for grants. Um, I have a questionnaire that I created just so I can get to know you and your business better. It helps me with my research to see if you are, if there's a grant out there that you're even eligible for. So um, what I do is I match it up with you guys, with your business, and um, then we go from there. And then I go ahead and apply for the grant for you. So um, I'll leave the link to that form in the description below if you are interested in getting a little more assistance um, for this. But like I said, I will be giving out more grants that you guys can apply for. Um, also, before we get started, I did want to speak about something that I just got myself involved with. I didn't want to say anything because I know I have a certain following up here and I know you guys trust me. So I don't just want to throw anything at you guys. So I just told myself I was going to keep it to myself until I have an actual testimony. So long story short, um, I met my sisters from my dad's side for, for the first time back in June. I went to one of my sisters, um, her son, um, birthday party. And uh, while I was there, I met her godmother. You know, we were talking a little bit, you know, entrepreneur to entrepreneur things of that nature. And she told me about a company that she is involved with called MWR. So I got a little more information about it. So basically this company, um, they have licensed professionals that um, assist you with increasing your credit score. Um, they do everything on your behalf. And um, they also um, help you get your money back from taxes. So I learned that um, the government does overtax us and sometimes we don't even know about it. So what they do is they speak on your behalf. They have you upload your W-2s and things of that nature and see if you've been overtaxed. And if you have, they give you that money that you've been overtaxed back. And they also, they speak on your behalf to lower your bills. So if you have like a phone bill, internet bill, things of that nature, they speak to these companies on your behalf to lower your bill and they also help you eliminate certain debts that you might have so that's kind of like all in one on what they do you can also make money with this company but I'm just going to talk more about the services because that's what I've experienced is their services so I was a little skeptical at first you know what I'm saying because it's a lot of things going around nowadays like me and my spouse we have been scammed out of some money now. So we don't be trusting things all the time no more. So, um, you know, but I was like, you know what? This is my sister's godmother. So this was like a trusting person. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and invest the money because I do want to um, improve my credit score because I'm trying to get a house and things like that. So we have a small family now. So I'm trying to get into something bigger, 
trying to build my business credit. I was like, why not? Let me just try it because this seems like a trusting person. She's in the family, blase, blase. Long story short, I signed up for the services and um, I did that like by the end of June. And literally I got my um, credit statement about a week ago because, you know, in the beginning of August just started and they normally give you your statements by the end of the month. My credit score has increased 43 points. I kid you not. It has increased 43 points in that little of a time of a month. So I'm like, wow, I couldn't even believe it. I'm just like, okay, well, now that I see for myself, I can share this with other people. So <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys because um, I'm just sharing my experiences and the things that I'm involved with with you guys in hopes that it could help you as well. So if you guys are in a spot or know people that's in the spot right now that need to improve their credit score, looking to maybe get some taxes back if they was overtaxed, um, looking for help to eliminate debt or lower any type of bills, definitely um, I'm going to create another form and I'm going to um, put it in the description below so that you guys can reach out to me and then I'll give you guys further information about that. But I just wanted to share that testimony with you guys because it's got me in another mind state. Like I'm just like, okay, now I'm really seeing that I can accomplish certain things now because that credit score is so majorly important. Like it really is. I don't want to talk you guys' head off, but like I've been trying to dispute certain things like for over a year now probably disputed like one or two things but the things that this company has did for me in a month I haven't even done for myself you get what I'm saying so definitely want to share that for anybody right now that's looking for those types of services and help okay now with that being said I'm going to go ahead and get into the juice and to the meat potatoes whatever whatever I'm about to go ahead and pull up the first grant for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Bear with me one moment. I'm going to um, share my screen with you. All right, y'all. Getting this video going. So this is the first grant that we're going to be talking about today. It is a $5,000 startup grant for Black women. So the applications are open. <coughs> excuse me y'all and um you need to apply by august the 26th so let's read a little bit about them all right we're small but we're here to make a big impact we took five thousand dollars out of our savings to turn the initial idea of pepper into a successfully funded kickstarter project rather than adopting a growth at all cost mentality that usually requires raising venture capital from the very beginning we hustled for as long as possible so that we can grow our community the way we want it. Now we're giving that $5,000 back every year in the form of no strings attached grant. But that's not all. In addition to the grant, we are also committed to providing access to our own networks, resources, exposure, and mentorship opportunities. The Pepper Startup Grant is specifically for Black women business owners, a dynamic group that has been systematically disenfranchised when seeking to acquire the necessary venture capital funding to expand their businesses. We're here to change that. Pepper was inspired by a passion to change beauty standards for women who are overlooked in the bra industry. Now we want to help underrepresented Black entrepreneurs kickstart their business in their own way. So that's a little bit about them. Um, they show you the grant recipients for last year. Now, this is a little bit of information about the program. So the thing about this grant is only one recipient will receive a zero strings attached $5,000 financial grant and the following benefits. Um, mentorship calls with the founders of Pepper, dedicated promotion on Pepper's social media accounts, access to consultations with experts in legal, franchising, finance, marketing, website, and relevant fields as needed to address your specific needs. They say that they're excited to partner with the Startup Girl Foundation, a nonprofit venture capital fund investing in female founders to administer the grant. 
So my only downfall about this grant would be that it's only for one recipient. You know what I'm saying? But um, whoever that recipient will be, will be very, very happy. So this is the eligibility. So you're eligible to apply um, if you are a business in any industry. So it doesn't matter what industry that you guys are in. At least 50% of the business must be owned, controlled, and operated and managed by Black or African-American female or non-binary identifying owners. You have to be at least 18 years old, a U.S. resident, and your business must have U.S. legal entity, um, like a C-Corp, S-Corp, LLC, social, uh, social, <laughs> sole proprietorship, and a partnership an early stage business with less than $500,000 in external equity financing raise. All right, so then you will click this button here to apply. And they also have an email here if you guys have any more questions about the grant. And it shows here that the five semifinalists will be announced by October 7th of 2022 via email. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description below. They also have um, frequently asked questions down here. I'm not really gonna go over this, but um, if you guys click the link, it will take you directly to this page. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and pull up the next grant. All right, you guys. So the next grantor that's giving out grants is um, GoFundMe. I know that a lot of you guys are familiar with GoFundMe. So this is for entrepreneurs and business owners. So direct your eyes over here. So you can apply for a $2,000 Black business, business Grant today. For Black Business Month, GoFundMe is giving away up to 15 $2,000 grants to eligible U.S. business, I'm sorry, U.S. Black-owned businesses that are giving back to their communities. Start a GoFundMe for your business today or spread the word by the word about your our Black-owned business grant program in your local neighborhood. So here's how it works. You're going to start a GoFundMe for your business in August. Use the hashtag Black Business Grant in your fundraiser description. Make sure your fundraiser is eligible. Fill out your information to apply for a Black Business Grant. All right, so down here, let me just scroll through here and see if there's anything else I should click. No. So we are gonna go directly right here to am I eligible? So how does the Black Business Grant Program work? So they say amount up to $30,000 will be distributed among up to 15 fundraisers totaling grants of $2,000 each. The timing, recipient of grants will be notified the second week of September, 2022. Grants will be fulfilled by September 31, 2022. Grant selection, a GoFundMe committee will select grantees based on eligibility and predetermined criteria. Committee decisions are final and binding on all matters related to the grant. So is your business eligible for a grant? To receive a Black business grant, your business, must meet all of the following criteria. Start your fundraiser and set up bank transfers in the month of August, 2022. Fill out the application form by 11.59 p.m. on August 31st, 2022. If your business is selected, you must provide a completed W-9 form and appropriate banking details in order to receive the grant. Your business must be located in the United States. Your business must help or give back to the community in some way. Examples include giving free coffee to veterans or offering community events. Businesses will be selected for the grants based upon the most compelling story, quality of expression, originality, and impact to your community. Add the hashtag Black Business Grant to your fundraiser story. If you're not raising money for your own business, make sure the business owner is set up to receive the funds from the fundraiser. Share your fundraiser with your network. Are any businesses excluded from the GoFundMe Black Business Grant Program? All grant recipients must comply with our terms of service. The following businesses and types of businesses are prohibited 
from receiving a black business grant. Businesses that don't meet GoFundMe's term of service are not eligible for a grant. Large businesses that are not independently owned and operated and are nationally dominant in the field of operation for that business are not eligible. Businesses that have already received a black business grant, only one grant is allowed per business and or business owner, regardless of location. All right, so that's the eligibility requirements. Now, what's good about this grant is they have, you have more of an opportunity to receive a grant through them because they have $30,000 available. And as you see that they are going by how compelling your story is and how much of an impact that your business will be or is to your community. So you guys get creative and um, stay original with that. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the next grant for you guys. Give me one second. All right, you guys. So this next grant here is by Give Butter. It is a Give Back Black Philanthropy Month Ugh, for 2022. So Give Butter gives back 10K to nonprofits during Black Philanthropy Month. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, y'all. Okay, to say thank you to the change makers who are using the Give Butter platform to make the world a better place, we'll be donating $10,000 to Black-led organizations and organizations that predominantly support and uplift Black communities this August as a part of Black Philanthropy Month. All right, so they're showing here most creative campaigns, $5,000 for one recipient, most active campaigns, $1,000, um, five recipients, and then um, they have a button to submit your campaign. But let's see how it works before we go into any of that. Let me just scroll down a little bit here. Okay. I just like to scan the website again. All right, so how it works. So you're gonna sign up for a free Give Butter account. And then you're gonna verify your nonprofit with Give Butter if it isn't already. Create your fundraising campaign and start collecting donations. Submit your campaign for Black Philanthropy Month by August 26, 2022 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to be considered for a Black Philanthropy Month donation. Your Black Philanthropy Month campaign will be reviewed by their staff says on August 31st, we will select six campaigns to receive a donation and announce them live at our Give Butter Give Back celebration. All organizations that are selected to receive a donation will receive extra exposure for their campaign via Give Butter social media channels. Exposure is always good. All right, so then they have um, a section here where they're saying join the celebration. This is where they're gonna announce the campaigns that they're donating the thousands of dollars to. Um, so you'll click this button right here to register and then you will submit your campaign here. Now I'm not gonna go too in depth with it unless you need help um, applying for it. But um, I've just been trying to keep these videos kind of straight to the point, but um, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for you guys. If you guys know a nonprofit or if you are a nonprofit, it doesn't really seem like it's like a specific nonprofit and it's not location based. So if you're a nonprofit, you can apply for this grant. All right, that being said, let me go ahead and pull up our next grant. All right, you guys, so this next grant here is by Bath and Body Works. You guys know about them. They got all the smell good candles and sprays and things of that nature, but they're having um, a little grant going on right now. But let me just read a little bit. I give you guys a little bit of background on what they're doing. So they say at Bath and Body Works, we believe getting involved, getting involved in our communities makes a meaningful difference. It's why, it's why for more than 30 years, we've remained dedicated to improving the communities where we do business and are focused on making a positive difference in the lives of our associates, our customers, and the community. We're committed to improving the lives of people 
and un underserved and underrepresented communities and ensuring a brighter future for people around the world by providing resources, volunteer time and product donations to organizations that help provide safe spaces, basic needs and paths to self-sufficiency. The Bath and Body Works Foundation offers a quarterly grant program to 501c3 nonprofits. The quarterly grant deadlines are the first business day of January, April, July, and October at midnight. So for this one, it will be for October um, at midnight PST. Notification will be sent per quarter for approved and denied grant requests. So I'm going to go ahead and click here so we can review their guidelines. All right, so um, here are their guidelines. Okay, I guess we could read through it. It's not too, too long. So their belief um, at Bath and Body Works, we believe the world is a better place when everyone has access to the things that make them feel safe, healthy, and secure. Because when basic needs are met, living a happy, fulfilling life becomes that much easier. How we're doing our part. We're committed to improving the lives of people in underserved and underrepresented communities and ensuring a brighter future for people around the world by providing resources, volunteer time, and product donations to organizations that help provide safe spaces, basic needs, and paths to self-sufficiency. What we fund. So they fund, um, it shows that they fund um, organizations and communities in the areas of addressing hunger and food insecurity, providing safe spaces through housing and shelter initiatives, supporting paths to self-sufficiency through education and workforce development, encouraging well-being and better health equity outcomes and an overall commitment to diversity, equity and inclusion efforts. Okay, and then they go into what they do not fund so they don't fund organizations that are not public charities, tax exempt under paragraphs 501c3 of the US Internal Revenue Code, organizations based outside of the domestic United States, individuals for any purpose like scholarships, hardship assistance, field trips, illness, political candidates, committees or organizations, athletes, teams, supporting events or tournaments of any kind, amateur or professional, including charity golf tournaments, fundraising events such as telethons or walkathons, fashion shows, beauty pageants or, con or contestants, fraternal labor or social organizations, churches or religious or sectarian organizations unless engaged in a significant um, project benefiting the greater community, non-academic educational activities such as bands, choirs, proms, after proms, graduations, etc. Organizations that spend more than 20% of their revenue on overhead and fundraising costs. Organizations that discriminate against people because of their age, race, creed, gender, handicap, sexual orientation, gender identity, ethnicity, or national origin, staff positions for governmental agencies, requests to fund publications, audio or video productions, unless they serve as supporting materials to a project within our focus, and requests to support travel for groups or individuals when that is the primary reason for the proposal. So how you apply for support, it says before submit an online, an application via our online application portal, please review the given guidelines to access whether your organization meets our criteria. After reviewing our guidelines, have your charitable tax ID or EIN number ready to submit your request via the application portal. And it says that, um, oh, it basically just repeats um, when the deadlines are. But um, it says, please note, fax, mailed, or email requests will not be considered. So if you guys want to apply for this, you got to do it off of their online portal. And as you can see, their first two questions, does your request align with our given focus? Are you a 501c3 nonprofit? So I'm going to go ahead and leave the link in the description below for this one for you guys.
All right, you guys, so I'm gonna cut this video short. Um, those are a few grants that you can apply for. As you can see, it's a lot of grants going on for black women, black businesses, um, nonprofits. I'm seeing a lot of grants for nonprofits lately that I've been coming across. So um, if you guys know anybody that um, qualify for those kind of grants, definitely share this video with them. Um, go ahead and apply because these deadlines are coming up. Don't procrastinate. Um, just go ahead and apply. I mean, it's free applications. So even if some grants might not be giving it to everybody, you just never know how God will bless you. So just keep it a positive mindset um, and just know that um, applying for grants is a process. Okay. Um, it took me a while to get a to get approved for certain grants that I've gotten approved for, but it has happened. And the same can happen for you guys. So with that being said, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. And you guys, um, I have all my links in the description below. So reach out to me on social media, my email, anything like that. If you want to talk one-on-one -on -one, or if you need help um, with anything around business, entrepreneurship, and finance. And I will help you to my best abilities. With that being said, that's the end of this episode and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.